Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 20. Here the problem is consider the system with the state equation and this is your given equation. Estimate the state controllability by Kalman's test and Gilbert's test. So first we proceed with Kalman's test. So as we all know this is our A matrix and this is your B matrix. Right. And what is the rank of the A matrix here? Here the rank of the A matrix is 3. So in Kalman's test the first step is we have to find a matrix QC. Right. So QC is nothing but B, A, B and A square B. So from the problem we are familiar with what is A and what is B. And we have to calculate A, B and A square B. So from the problem you see we know what is A and what is B here. First we are calculating A, B values. So as we all know this is a 3 by 3 matrix and this is a 3 by 1 matrix. So final answer should be of 3 by 1 matrix. Right. So we had calculated A, B here. Now the next step is A square. We need to calculate A square B. So for that first we are calculating A square. So A square is a into A, right? And I hope you people are familiar with matrix multiplication, right? So this row is multiplied with this column to have this first element. And again, this row gets multiplied with second column to have the second element. Similarly, this row gets multiplied with the third column to have the third element, right? So likewise, we have to multiply and finally we are arriving at A square. Then the next step is we need to calculate a square b. Right. We know a square and we know the b value. So when you multiply we are getting the value of a square b. Now substitute the values accordingly. We are ending up with the matrix qc. Right. So this is your b matrix and this is your ab matrix and this is your a square b matrix. So the next step is we have to calculate the determinant value. So to calculate the determinant value as we all know you see this number is 0. So no need to proceed and again the second number is also 0 and finally here we are having a 1 right. So to calculate for this 1 you see we have to leave this row and this column. So 0 into minus 6 is 0 and 1 into 1 is 1 right. So here we are getting the answer as 1. So here we will be having minus 1, right? You see 1. So 0 into minus 6 is 0. Minus of 1 into 1 becomes minus 1, right? So anyway, the rank of QC is equal to 3. So the system is completely state controllable, right? Again, to check, we have... The rank of matrix A is also equal to 3 and here again Q is also equal to 3. Right. Therefore, the system is completely state controllable. And the next thing is Gilbert's test. Here in this case, we are having different eigenvalues. Right. So, the first step is we have to calculate eigenvalues of A. So, that is given by lambda i minus A. Right. So, here the A matrix is given in the problem and lambda and identity matrix is a diagonal matrix, right? So when you do that, that is I had written in the simplified form. Lambda is nothing but lambda which will be get multiplied by this matrix minus an A. What is A? It is 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 and minus 6, minus 11 and minus 6, right? So here... When you solve, when you subtract, we are ending up with a matrix like this. We need the determinant value of this lambda i minus a. Right. So when you take determinant, again the same thing. Here the first thing is lambda. Right. So lambda, again lambda into lambda plus 6 minus of minus 11. So that becomes plus 11 here. Again when you consider minus 1, you see how to leave this column and this row. So 0 into lambda plus 6 is 0 and again minus of 6 into minus 1 that will gives you a plus 6 and here the final number is 0 so you can simply leave it. So again when you solve we are ending up with a cubic equation right. 
so we don't have any direct methods to solve the cubic equation so we are using trial and error method so here in this case we have to find for what values of lambda this equation will be equal to 0 right again this is a trial and error you can substitute any number as per your wish but the only condition is that equation should become 0 right so for this we are starting up with the least number so here I am considering the first element as minus 1 okay now we are going to substitute minus 1 and check whether this equation becomes 0 so for that again here by synthetic division just write down the respect to coefficients here coefficient of lambda cube is 1 lambda square is 6 lambda is 11 and constant is 6 right I am starting with minus 1 here the first number should be written is 0 so here it is 1 plus 0 is 1 so 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 6 minus 1 is 5 and again 5 into minus 1 is minus 5 so 11 minus 5 is 6 and 6 into minus 1 is minus 6 so 6 minus 6 becomes 0 right now again I am rewriting this expression so how can we write you see we had find out that minus 1 is a factor for the above equation right so here how to write minus 1 as a factor it should be written as lambda plus 1 then only when you equate this term to 0 we can get the value of lambda is equal to minus 1 right so lambda plus 1 and again writing these terms as a equation that is lambda square plus 5 lambda plus 6 right again when you simplify this quadratic equation this is, this is written as lambda plus 2 into lambda plus 3 here. So finally when you equate these terms to 0 we are getting the values of lambda as lambda 1 is equal to minus 1 and lambda 2 is equal to minus 2 and lambda 3 is equal to minus 3. Since eigenvalues are different right here the method we use is quite different here. So here the model matrix M is van der Bonde matrix that is when you have different eigenvalues you can use this method to solve the problem okay it is quite simpler when compared to the previous solved problem. So here the form is 1 1 1 lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 and lambda 1 square lambda 2 square and lambda 3 square. So just substitute the values accordingly and here you have to take the square minus 1 whole square is 1 minus 2 whole square is 4 and minus 3 whole square is 9 right. The next step is we are going to calculate the m inverse. So m inverse formula is a joint of m divided by mod of m here sorry determinant of m right here so the determinant of m we can calculate it directly so a joint of m it takes some time to solve right because we need to find cofactors of each and every number present in the matrix and then you have to substitute so here in this case again I believe you people know how to take cofactors let me explain for some uh, two to three numbers right first consider this number one how to take cofactor for this one you have to leave this row and this column so the remaining numbers will be minus two minus three four and nine right so minus 2 minus 3 4 and 9 you have to solve as usual minus 2 into 9 is minus 18 minus of 4 into minus 3 is plus 12 therefore it gives an answer of minus 6 right similarly and before that you see here are the signs you should consider while taking the cofactors that is plus minus plus minus plus minus and plus minus plus right you see for this cofactor plus sign is taken here considered here and for this one minus sign is considered so here it is minus of the thing when you consider this one what happens you should leave this column and this row so the remaining numbers are minus 1 minus 3 1 and 9 so minus 1 minus 3 1 and 9 so when you solve you are getting up with the answer and you see you should always include the sign which we have mentioned here right plus minus plus accordingly so when you consider this one you have to consider plus again when you consider this minus one you have to consider a minus sign right so simply just find cofactors for all the nine terms which are present here so here you see these are the respective answers 
which we are getting i have taken the numbers row wise right first row and these are all the answers for the second row so these are the answers for the third row right so after calculating just we are that's it okay we had calculated the values and we had finding out the determinant of m here so when you calculate determinant of m the value is minus 2 right and the next thing is m inverse is given by adjoint of m by determinant of m so adjoint of m is we had just now calculated m right adjoint of m is you have to take transpose divided by the value of determinant of m is it is minus 2 here so when you take transpose here what is meant by transpose you have to convert rows into columns so here this row is converted into this column this row is converted into this column and finally this row is converted into this column right so now we have to divide this in these individual terms by minus 2 so when you divide here we are getting answer like this right and as we all know b cap is nothing but m inverse of b so here we know what is m inverse we know b when you multiply we are finally ending up with the answer like this and here you see in the b cap matrix all elements are present and there are no zeros right therefore the system is said to be completely state controllable always keep in mind if you have different eigenvalues you can use this method to solve the problem right or else you have to that is the procedure is uh, somewhat lengthy right so this is when the when we have different eigenvalues the procedure is different and you can refer the previous problem we have solved right so here comes the end of this problem if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you